Now let's go to the team that uh, Kansas City beat in the Super Bowl, and that's the San Francisco 49ers. Their total wins, uh, they're over under 10 and a half. And oh, by the way, William Hill saying no team changed based on schedule. So everybody the same there at 10 and a half. They open at home uh, against Arizona, the first four you see on the left column. Those are preseason games. How about that week two and three? At the Jets, at the Giants, back to back. So just stay put in North Jersey because uh, you're going Jets and Giants back to back. Five primetime games, week four Philly, week six Rams, nine, week nine Thursday, short week Green Bay. That's a rematch of the NFC Championship game. Buffalo in primetime, Dallas in primetime, and Jimmy G goes back to New England week seven. Pete Prisco, I say San Francisco schedule. You say what? I say it's pretty tough. And again, this is a good football team, and, and their defense is again going to carry them with the run game. But how far they go if they get back to the Super Bowl uh, depends on the growth of Jimmy Garoppolo in the passing game. And I, and I do think he can grow as a quarterback. But it's tough when you lose a Super Bowl to get back there. Uh, and that, that hangs around the entire season. So it's a big hurdle to overcome. And I think this schedule at some point is tough. I mean, you look at that one little stretch there. You, you got the Packers, the Saints, the Rams and the Bills in, in a four-game stretch. That's a tough stretch of games. And, yeah, they handled the, the Packers in the championship game a year ago uh, easily, but that, that's a tough little stretch, and they're going to be tested uh, along the way. But they're good enough. Will they get to 12 wins? I don't think so. Will they get to 11? Uh, maybe. But I think the Cardinals are going to be better. I think the Seattle Seahawks are going to be good. And the Rams are, you know, a, a, a team that was, you know, 15 months ago was in the Super Bowl. So uh, I do think that they're going to be challenged a lot more in that division this year. Brady, a lot of places for you to go here with this team. Jimmy Garoppolo going back to New England. Uh, you can do the Jets and Giants back to back on the road week two, week three. Or, hey, after November 1st, they're not going to need any long sleeves, all short sleeves, either indoors or warm weather games, which I'm sure makes them happy. And I know players look at that. What did you see with San Francisco? Well, I think it's a, it's a tough schedule, as Pete had pointed to, at least initially. But then it kind of allows them to coast, I think, if they can build a lead. But that's the big question. If, how are they going to respond? How are they going to rebound? So, you know, you talked about the back-to-back -back weeks in New York. That's pretty status quo now for most teams uh, to stay out on the East Coast, not deal with the time zone uh, change, especially uh, considering, you know, the fact that time of year it's, it'll be warmer weather, so it's not going to be, you know, that sort of issue. However, you don't know how COVID-19 is going to impact that, you know, moving forward. Does the team want to stay in a place that may have been considered a hotbed up in that, you know, tri-state area up in New York and New Jersey? So all those things could factor into how this actually impacts the team and what they do in their travel. Uh, EK, to your point, maybe last year if we didn't have COVID-19, they would stay on the East Coast. Maybe because of COVID-19, now they're going to go back to the West Coast to eventually come back and they want to limit their time and their exposure on the East Coast. You don't know how teams are going to end up, you know, scheduling things based on that. But one thing is for sure, I think the way this schedule finishes will largely determine the NFC West, will largely determine who's going to end up having that number one seed in the NFC. There's so much parity and so much competition. So that's the exciting part, I think, about San Francisco's schedule is those last few weeks, how they finish. And I think a lot of things uh, could play out in determining who ends up having that top overall spot. And let's not let anyone forget, it's only the one seed now that gets the bye. It's the other six teams now that we have seven to go to the playoffs uh, that will have to play off in the wild card round. So that's why that's so important. That's why the schedule ends up being tough in my eyes. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.